Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see the next lab program. So I have started with SQL. So let me explain you all SQL uh, programming. So already Python programs are on my uh, playlist like second PUC uh, lab programs playlist it is playlist name so you can go back and check the playlist of python so if you don't get it so hit a uh, i button there so you'll get the playlist of the uh, python uh, programming so today we are starting with sql programming okay so what is sql firstly then we are going to see how to create a table like different uh, queries we are going to see creating a table inserting a table so how to view the list of all the documents that you have entered then how to uh, use other commands like alter command update command delete command select command so all these commands how to use it we are going to see in this particular program so this is your part b programming mysql so what is this mysql SQL is nothing but structured query language. Okay, so it is a query language. Each and every question you are going to see here, those are all the questions. So, for all these questions, you are going to write a query. In programming, we were writing the programs there. Here, we are not writing the program, we are writing the query for each and every questions here. Okay, so here you have totally seven problem statement with creating a table and inserting the table that is 7 8 9 totally 9 commands you are going to execute it okay so let me show you all how to do it so firstly whenever you want to create or whenever you want to execute any of the sql uh, queries first always you need to create a table okay so how to create a table so first question is Create a table with the following fields and enter 10 records into the table. Okay. Entry name will be marks. So what is this marks? Marks is nothing but this table name. So whenever you are creating a table, you are going to use marks has the table name. So how to create a table? It's very simple. I'll just show you all how it is. Okay. Okay, let me start my SQL uh, query language. So, how to create a table? So, whenever you want to create a table, it's very simple. You are going to write create, create table. What is the table name? Table name is marks. So, marks. Okay, you are going to open the braces. Then write roll number, data type has int, size has 5, okay, put a comma, again go with s name, space, data type is where care of 15, okay, not null has a constant, put a comma, language marks, space, int of 3, space, between 0 and 100, put a comma like that all the subject name with the particular data type size as well as constant at the end you are going to close and put a semicolon this is how you are going to create a table i hope you understood how to create a table right so let me execute this and show you all uh, how it is going to create so i don't have any software so i'm going to use a online compiler so whatever the uh, SQL uh, software they are using in your college use that and the command will be same there is no changes so I'll just give an online compiler here so I'll delete all these things okay let me execute and show you all this particular first can you see the input part so this is your input part let me type and show you all the create command as I told you write create table marks open braces in the table you had roll number space int of 5 comma yes name where care of 15 space not null comma language marks int of 3 check 
language marks is between 0 and 100. So, whatever the input you are going to give, if you give a negative number, it should not accept. If you give more than 100, it should not accept. The mark should be between 0 and 100. That is why we have used AND operator here. Okay, like that. Six subject marks we have taken. We have taken in data type has 3. So, int 3 check. Check is nothing but to check your constants. What is constant? Constant is nothing but the conditions for the particular column, marks column. Okay. If I click on run here, can you see the output here? SQL query successfully executed. However, the result set is empty. So, what is result set? So, still you have not inputted the value, right? So, that is why it is showing empty. But a table is created for the command that you have given. So, that is the first step, okay? The next step is to input the value. So, how to input the value? I will just show you. So, command is input, okay? Command is for uh, input the values is insert into what is the table name marks values you are going to open the braces within the single quote you are going to give the roll number put a comma within a sing, uh, within double quotes you are going to give your student name comma then you are going to give the first marks second marks third marks fourth marks fifth marks sixth marks separated by a comma and closing braces and a semicolon let me run this and show you all. Okay. It is showing error because I have executed the first one also. So, I will just delete the first query, run this. Can you see? Query, SQL query successfully executed. Okay. Next one. So, next, totally I need to insert 10 values for the table. Okay. Let me insert those things. I will insert my second row. Run. Successfully executed. So, I have inserted total uh, 10 values. So, let me show you all uh, what are the 10 values that I have, I have inserted. Okay. To see or to check the values that you have entered first you need to give select star from what is the table name marks and end with a semicolon click on run you can see all the 10 marks so whatever the input that you have entered that you can see it over here so first roll number is 1010 Raj, they are marks. All the marks are between 0 to 100. Can you see here the output, this part? Okay, this is how you are going to view the table using select command. So, first step, we have created a table. Second step, we have inserted the value. Third step is we are going to view all the datas that we have entered. So, how to list all the datas that we have entered using select command. So, select, what is the star? Star means from the table marks, whatever the data it is there, everything it has to display. That is what star is. Zero or more. Till From starting zero till the last value, whatever it is there inside the marks, that has to be displayed on the screen. Okay, that is the next question. Let me show you the question. So, here can you see list out all the records? So, how to list out all the record by giving select star from marks. So, next one is description of the table. So, how to view the description of the table? Okay. The third question is adding a new attribute to the table. So, how to add a new attribute to the table? So, attribute is nothing but new column. 
total column and percentage column i need to add to the existing table so what is the existing table name marks so using alter command we are going to add new columns to the table okay so my command is alter table marks you need to give a keyword add this add tells you that adding a new column to the existing table so my new existing table like uh, table name is marks the column name is total total will be int of 3 this is my data type okay comma percentage space percentage always it will be a floating point number so that is why we have given float as a data type 5 comma 3 okay so this i'm going to execute and show you all so i'll run this syntax error Now I have added alter table marks add total int of 3. So my query is successfully executed. So next thing is now I need to add percentage. Percentage I need to add. So percentage data type is float. I will give 5 comma 3. Okay. So I will put a semicolon. I will run the command so successfully executed now let's show you all the output for this whatever we have done so initially as you see let me show you all the output here so what is the output here is so to see the output give select star from table name table name is marks put a semicolon press run can you see the output here using alter command the existing table we have added two more columns here right so these two more columns are done using alter command now next step is after adding a column now we need to update the values for this column so here i have total so total is empty percentage is empty now i need to add the values for that so with the help of update command we are going to do that now so how to get the total so total is nothing but all these six column language marks english subject 1 to subject 4 if i add all these things 89 97 98, 99, 86, 95, I am going to get the total. So, how to do that? So, I have to give an update command. Update marks. Update marks is your table name. Set total. So, this total is nothing but the values you are going to enter here. Is equal to language marks plus English marks plus subject 1 marks plus subject 2 marks plus subject 3 marks plus subject 4 marks so this is how you are going to update the value for total so total is nothing but six, six subject marks when you add six subject you are going to get the total that will be entered into the total so let me run the command it is successful now i will show you all the value for this total give select star from mark Put a semicolon, click on run. Can you see the total marks is updated? Same way now, percentage is empty. So, how to calculate the percentage? Total divided by 600. Why it is 600? Because it is 6 subject marks. All the subject is 100 marks each. Okay. So, I need to update the value for that. So, how to update it? So, update table name, it is marks set percentage set percentage percentage is equal to total divided by 600 into 100 will give you the percentage all right so it is updated now give select star from 
marks with a semicolon click run can you see okay so what is the mistake here i have got percentage zero so let me update it again let me put a braces over here it is giving a mistake for me okay let me run the command percentage let me see the output select star from mark why it is giving percentage zero let me check again Okay. Maybe some calculation error I'm getting. Let me try it once again. 